What is up producers? There's a lot of different MIDI generation devices that are coming from all over the internet now. With the turn of AI being integrated into more and more of our production every single day, one huge thing I'm seeing over and over again is AI powered MIDI generation devices. Now there's a lot of controversy about these, mostly because people will you know, lean one way and say, well, you're not really writing your music. And then people will lean the other way and say, well, you know, we're explaining what we want and we're having AI do the heavy lifting. I'm leaning more towards that way. I'm someone who I've taken music theory for years and years in college. I can write chord progressions, I can write melodies. With that being said, sometimes it's more convenient and it's faster to work with an AI tool to help you kind of get the idea down uh, to where then you could edit it. Also, another thing I found is uh, using an AI tool and describing to it what you want kind of breaks the barrier of you creating the same things every time or leaning to the same key or leaning to a certain chord progression. So I really like them. I've played with pretty much all of them. And today we're gonna to talk about my top three favorite MIDI generation tools for 2026. Before we hop into the video, quick announcement for you guys. I recently dropped a super fire, complete start to finish music production course. It's designed to give you every single tool you're ever gonna to need to produce professional quality music in 30 days, either if you're totally brand new or if you've been producing for a while, but you're just struggling to get your sound to the next level. It's over 17 hours of content distributed over 30 days of learning. We also have a super fire community where you can hop in and ask questions, free monthly sample packs, all kinds of cool stuff. Also, we've recently worked out a deal where if you sign up for the course, we can actually give you guys educational discounts on Ableton Live, FabFilter, Isotope, Sound Toys, Kilohertz, Arturia, and Output. So you could literally save thousands of dollars. And as of right now, the course is on sale, so it costs less than dinner. So definitely worth it, definitely worth checking out. Let's get into the video. So the first one we're gonna take a look at today is actually in beta. So this is an Ableton native device that will at some point be available with the update. This one is called Sting by Ifta, and it's basically marketed as an acid-based generator. It's really good at writing like little melodies, which obviously most of the time will sound best in an acid base. So we're gonna kind of use this as an example. Let's grab like a serum acid base kind of deal. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our MIDI generation tools. So let's create a MIDI clip here. And all we really have to do is hit generate. Like we have some parameters here for the, the root note. We can move it up since we could uh, change the denomination of, of how many notes. So, I mean, you know, it's marketed as an acid base generator, but like this, these patterns are all, everyone I've generated, like, obviously not all of them are like great, but most of these ones I've generated have been pretty good for like creating a little bit of like a melodic start to a track. Like the thing with a lot of MIDI generators is honestly, like sometimes they'll just generate stuff that sounds like trash. And you're like, this has no musical value at all whatsoever. This in particular one, which when the update comes out, it should be free with, with uh, the update, really doesn't do that. Everything is like pretty decent and melodic that it comes up with. And again, if we venture out of the acid base territory and maybe just use like something a little bit more basic, like a bell or something like that. Sick. Like most of these I would use. These are these are all really dope. So this would be number three. Uh, and this would be Sting by Ifta, which is again a native Ableton MIDI generation device that should be out soon. Uh, may even be accessible on the website at this point. Now this next one is MIDI Agent. And as far as third, this is gonna be the only third party one. As far as third party MIDI generation tools goes, a lot of them I don't like. This one. The thing about this one is that they give you a couple different language models to use. So you can use like theirs or you can use your own. You can use like DeepSeek, Gemini. So you can you can use your own provider to generate the MIDI. Theirs is one that they're constantly working on the prompting with. This prompting in particular is going to be available in MIDI Agent 2.0, which is not out yet. But when it is, it's gonna be pretty dope. There's for sure a significant difference in one versus two. Uh, I've played with one for like quite a while and Sometimes it gives me stuff that I'm not soaked with just to be like perfectly transparent here. But two has gotten quite a bit better. So like here's an example of, I said, give me like a trap style piano loop. 
So let's get a piano so this makes sense. The cool part about this one is it gives you all these parameters so you don't have to necessarily type it in. You can kind of like fill this out so it gives it like a good starting point. And so like here I was saying like, give me a piano, type piano, key D, um, four bars, hip hop, 130, uh, which we'll change that. And this is what it gave me. So really clean, it makes sense musically. It fits all the parameters that we told it. It's in uh, D minor uh, for the BPM. I think it's got a pretty good like hip hop type of vibe. I think we specified that we wanted it to be like kind of dark, which I feel like it is and atmospheric. So this one has come a long way. MIDI Agent 2, I think is gonna be a pretty big step up from the current one. This would come in as my current number two for MIDI generation tools. Number one is a Another MIDI generation tool that's native to Ableton Live. It is third party from a developer, but it is uh, native. It's a gen MIDI generation tool and it's called Crux Chords. These guys I've actually been working with for a while. Chord progression in D minor that has a kind of dark vibe to it. That's gonna sound good on an ethereal type piano instrument. And then it's gonna use that information and give us a chord progression. If we wanna go ahead and commit it to MIDI, we're just gonna hit generate. Cool, so yeah, it gave us pretty much kind of what we asked for, which was a uh, chord progression D minor that has kind of a dark vibe to it, gonna sound good on an ethereal type piano instrument. So I'd say I did a pretty good job on that. The thing I like about this device is that it gives us a simplified chord progression in its most basic form. And then it's on us to go in and edit this and make it kind of the way we want it, which I prefer because if I'm generating MIDI, I wanna get like a good idea that either I would not have thought of or I wouldn't have been able to replicate and then edit it myself. So like from here, I would come in here and I would start doing some inversions, see kind of how I like the sound of them. Maybe come in here and do like a nice strum to them. See how that sounds. So I think this tool is very good for creating like a very strong bass and kind of honestly at this point, building our entire track off this chord progression. So this would be with number one for me. I'll link all these in the description for you guys. I hope this helps. I hope this helps you guys to make some incredible music. Uh, thank you for watching. Let me know what you guys wanna see next in the comments. Uh, let me know what you're, where you're struggling or if there's a plugin you want covered. Uh, I will get to it when I can. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.